Finally, we get to the good stuff, monetizing our apps. This is where all your hard work starts to pay off. While this is usually the most exciting part of app development, it can also be the most daunting and confusing for people that are new to it. I'm Reza Alizada, and I'm a Windows Phone champ at Microsoft. First things first, you need to get your app onto the marketplace, as this is the only real way to get your app onto the phones of your users. If you don't already have an app Hub account, then the first thing you need to do is register on that site as a developer. In order to get signed up, simply go to create.msdn.com and click on the Join to Submit Your Apps and Games link to create a new account. You'll need to sign in with your Windows Live ID and complete the registration form and pay the annual membership fee. Once you're registered and your account is all set up, you'll be able to submit your apps for certification to be available on the marketplace. When you submit your app for certification, it goes through a set of automated and manual tests to make sure it conforms to the application certification requirements before being made available on the marketplace. This process usually takes about a few days to complete, and if it turns out there were issues with the certification, you'll receive a testing report that you can use to fix the problems. This report will contain specific feedback on the issues that were identified and will usually be accompanied by a set of steps to help you recreate the issue. In order to make this process smoother, the Windows Phone team has released a marketplace test kit which will allow you to perform the same automated tests on your application within Visual Studio before you submit it, saving you time and greatly improving your chances of passing the first time. Another great feature that was recently introduced is the ability to conduct beta testing of your apps. This feature will allow you to invite up to 100 testers to download and use your app on their device for up to 90 days without requiring you to make it available to everyone through the marketplace. This is a great way to get some early testing in and also get some feedback from your users before going live. When you submit your app, you'll also need to specify what your business model is going to be. Are you going to sell your app or give it away for free? Are you going to incorporate ads into your app to generate ad revenue or leave it ad free? These are important questions to think about and the right strategy will vary greatly from app to app. If you choose to sell your app, you can sell it for as little as 99 cents or as much as $499. Obviously, you're going to need to put some thought into what the sweet spot is for selling your app and maximizing your revenue. You will receive 70% of the price paid for your application and will start receiving payouts once you've reached $200 in earnings. As part of your yearly membership fee, you can publish as many paid apps as you like to the marketplace at no additional cost. Windows Phone also offers an ad-funded model where an app is offered for free and developers are making money from hosting ads in their apps instead. Microsoft Advertising has released an SDK for Windows Phone, making it really easy to incorporate ads into your apps and start earning ad revenue right away. Just visit pubcenter.microsoft.com to register and download the SDK. A third option, and something that's different about Windows Phone, is that you can enable trial mode with your paid apps. The trial mode option is intended to allow developers to let their users try the application before deciding to make a purchase. You, as the app developer, can decide how the app will function while in trial mode. Will it be fully functional for a period of time? Will it have some functionality disabled? Will it show some ads? The decision is yours to make. The great thing about this is that you no longer have to create light versions of your paid apps like what's done on some other platforms. Not only does this mean less complexity for you, but it'll also allow you to have all your downloads and ratings consolidated into one app. Enabling trial mode functionality is really easy. Inside your code, you simply need to check for license information that is trial method to determine if your app is running in trial mode. Finally, when you submit your app to the App Hub, just check the box enabling trial mode and you're all done. Now that we have that all squared away, let's look at some ways to maximize your visibility in the marketplace and increase your downloads. First, make sure your app is designed to sell. This means making sure that your icons look good and your description is well written. If your icon doesn't sell the user, chances are they'll never navigate to read your description. And if your description's poor, then there's even less of a chance that they'll bother downloading your app, no matter how good it is. Next, it's always a great idea to enable the trial mode option in your apps. An application that's free to use has a much greater chance of being downloaded. This will allow your users to try your application and allow you to upsell them to the paid version once they've experienced the value of your app. Tip number three, release upgrades of your app. You don't need to add every bell and whistle to your app in the first release. Consider releasing an initial version which contains less features and then add features to your app with each upgrade. This will not only allow you to get to market quicker, but it can also allow you to drive more downloads of your app because each time you release an upgrade, your app will move to the top of the newly arrived list. Now how's that for a great tip? Consider also localizing your app for other countries and regions. The Windows Phone platform makes it really easy to add localized strings to your app. 
And this can have a huge impact on how well your application is received in international markets. Once you have localized your app, you can also localize your marketplace description text, making it more discoverable to international users. Finally, make sure that your app is encouraging good feedback. Good user reviews of your app are a strong sales motivator and something that Windows Phone users will generally look at when evaluating apps to purchase and download. You want to make sure to make it easy for users to be able to leave reviews for your app on the marketplace. A great way to accomplish this is to use the marketplace review tasks in your application. This API will allow you to launch the Windows Phone Marketplace client application and display the review page for your app so the user can enter their review immediately. You will also want to allow your users to communicate with you from directly within the app with any issues they might be experiencing with the app. The benefit to doing this is twofold. First, you get feedback directly from your users that you can use to improve your app. And second, if users are able to get in contact with you about an issue, they are far less likely to resort to leaving you a negative review on the marketplace just to get their point across. Happy users equals better reviews equals more downloads for you. And the more downloads for you is the key to making more money. I can't wait to see your name and your app at the top of the download list.